Hi there. Just out scouting for firewood today. And I came across this. I don't know how well you can see that. I just got my phone and it's not the best quality uh, video. So last year about this time there was a lot of fatwood videos going on around YouTube. So for all the uh, bushcrafty prepping types, I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, so this tree is broken off right here. And the rest of it is just laying right here. So I was going to come back and, and saw this up for firewood. And I noticed this. So all of this right in here is where all the sap has gone, where it, where it rushed to the scar, I guess, and since dried out. This tree's probably been laying here for, oh, judging by the coloration on the, the wood, I'd say for two or three years anyways. So it's dried into the wood, and I think that's what fatwood is. I never really paid much attention to what fatwood was before. It's something I've always just kind of taken for granted being out here in the country. Didn't know that it was a something that could be used as a fire starter. But uh, since then, I've been a little bit more cognizant of it when I come across it. Now, this was a pretty pretty good mine of uh, fatwood, by my estimation, anyways. So, I just thought I'd share that with you, if that interests anybody, or if it's useful. Looking for um, trees that are broken off, with maybe with fire scars, or lightning strike, or just broken in the wind. If you look around close to where the scar is, you can find that there's quite a bit of that buildup in there. That waxy sap mixed in with wood. Oops, sorry about that. Mixed in with the wood there. You can shear it off a little bit. <clears throat> There we go. I don't know if you can see that there, but it peels off, curls right up. Like, uh, it looks like fatwood does in the videos I've seen. So I thought that was really cool, and I thought I'd share that with uh, with you guys. If you find that that's useful, I hope that helps. If you're out looking for it in the bush, that might be one source. Canadian Arctic Radio, out.